Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining. I'm going to do a Dutch pour today. And the base, I'm going to split it, black and white. And the other colors, I'll use two different purples and uh, gold. I will list those in the description below. Um, I've tried to switch over from using cups to hold up my canvases to some tacks, as you can tell. Um, they do seem to do a little bit better. Just make sure you push them in far enough because if you don't, well, you might get in trouble because then they'll fall out in the middle of your painting. Um, all my paints are mixed two to one ratio, flow troll to paint. Also, you might have noticed I don't have on my junkie shirt for painting. This is actually during my lunch break. Thought I'd try to do it real quick get it out of the way before distractions come home later today that being kids and wife um, again just trying to spread out the paint and eventually I'll get to my colors um, so how's everybody been doing hope everybody's been doing well I've tried to take a little break from the Shelly art stuff and actually do something else for just a little bit but I am looking into doing a little bit more at least on bigger canvases so I'll get to that later um, if anybody does have any color combinations let me know that's probably my hardest thing to decide what colors I want to use Sometimes I just send the kid in here to do it, and it's, I get what I get, right? Um, but, um, yeah, I'm going to use a blow dryer, just blow it out, get it done quicker, um, and try to even the paint out with the blow dryer. It does a lot better and a lot quicker than me trying to do it. Also... You know, I'm going to get my sides just to make sure the paint can flow over. Sorry, my head's in the way. Um, but that'll we'll get you back in there. All right. So one thing I forgot to do, I forgot to torch my base. So some of you already know what that means. And the ones that don't know what that means, that means... I might have some with the air bubbles in the base they'll come up after I blow it out and leave like a white dot or a black dot so guess I will deal with that after the fact um, so I started with um, one of my darker purples and then use some gold and then deco arts amethyst which is another pretty purple. Um, it just has some metallic in it since it's an extreme sheen, and which is so is the gold that I'm using as well. So I'll probably get a little bit of cell action going here and there with both of those because that usually happens with these paints. Um, also, I decided to start an Instagram so if you want to follow me the links in the description um, sometimes it's a little easier for me to get content on that versus editing videos but all right i'm going to blow it out a little bit and hopefully it'll look pretty good also funny story you know i come home to to paint real quick and you think everything's going to be great and i get home and apparently the dog decided had upset stomach so in my painting room he'd use the restroom everywhere so i had to clean that up first and then after i finished my painting i came back later after work and he'd done it again I was having a crappy day, <laughs> really was, but 
anyway, um, just a funny story, but I do like the outcome of this. I, the only thing is I wish I had blown out or not blown out, but torched my base because there are some white dots that will show up eventually. Um, normally what I do is you can get like a little toothpick or something and kind of swirl in the color over the top of it if you wanted to do that, at least in the bigger areas, which you can kind of see there's a white circle that showed up, but I'll get a toothpick and try to fix the bigger ones. That way it's not as noticeable. Um, but overall, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to scrape some of the paint off because I think there's too much. And I don't want it to crack, but... Um, anyway, I'll get you down for a closer look. And, and here it is. There's the cell action I was talking about with the Extreme Sheen paints. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Like or subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I hope y'all have a good one. Thanks.